All right, welcome back. We're live here in Greenwood for our next Zip Trip, and today we want to talk about the pollinators because not only is Greenwood an amazing city, it's also a bee city, and uh, we have Ann Barklow here to tell us what that means and maybe how we can help save the bees. Ann, always good to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Dick. Yeah, Let's talk about what does it mean to be a bee city? Because you're like one of yeah. only four in the state of South Carolina with yeah. that distinction. Well, we have to provide habitat for bees, so we have to have a certain amount of pollinator plants and flowers and then uh, of course we uh, you know we have to have things for the larval stage of insects of like yeah. milkweed and uh -huh. parsley for the eastern swallowtail and things like that and we're required to add a few natives like not totally natives even though we've pretty much done totally natives yes. in, a lot of, in a lot of areas but that's mostly and the other part we have to do is reduce pesticide use yes we don't we don't want any of that so we don't have any of that in our gardens which is amazing that you can grow all these and for it to look so pretty I mean, no with that yes I mean, look Absolutely. at all the things uh, you guys are invested yeah. in it in, in the ways that a lot of people aren't mm -hmm. but break it down for people who may be like what is a pollinator what is that yeah. well that's right so let's look at um if you look at flowers which i could do right okay there. yeah okay so flower. you have this flower that pollen can't get into that flower. So it needs a pollen helper. To just come and you know, pick I mean, it up and... I mean, if the flower could just go like this, right. then we'd be good. It'd be easy breezy. Yeah, right. well, no yeah. problem, we don't need those pollinators. Right. But because they can't, they need a pollinator, a bee, to land on the pollen, and then to go ahead and transfer it to the other one, and then it fertilizes uh, it. That, so that's how Then it you get fruit, then you get seeds, then you get flowers. Because what would happen, like, we kind of went through a crisis a couple of years ago. They showed what a grocery store would look like yes. without bees. That was yes. probably the most eye-opening. Yes. It's like, what? It's empty. Right, yes. right. I mean. Exactly. And this would be the festival of no flowers. Right. So, you yes. Know? And would <laughs> you be here? Bees. No. Probably not. We would probably stay somewhere else. Yes. Like, we don't want to come down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the really exciting part about that is educating the kids about why it's important for our pollinators, how to identify mm -hmm. them. And so you're doing a cool event where you're gonna do a scavenger hunt. We are. On June 20th, we're gonna meet over at the Art Center at 10 o'clock and we're gonna walk over here to this uptown farmer's market and we're gonna take, we're gonna split up in little groups because I figure there's gonna be a lot of us. Okay. Yes. And then we're gonna go around and what I have is I have this, uh, this scavenger hunt and this shows, you know, the bees and what type of bees. We wanna really teach them what kind, I mean, uh, a carpenter bee, how do you tell the difference between a carpenter bee and a bumblebee? They're just always <laughs> usually by your house, like by the wood, right? Yeah, it's yeah. like, right, you know. yeah. But really how you tell is that a, a carpenter bee has a shiny hiney. I'll never shiny forget hiney. that, shiny hiney, And carpenter then a bumblebee bee. has a furry hiney. <laughs> a furry booty for that. And the carpenter bee's bigger, it's more like a helicopter. Okay. okay. You know, where the bumblebee is smaller. Right. It's like a small size car. Because I like this because some kids, like, they see, like, you know, they'll see a bee and they're like, oh gosh, a bee, a bee, a bee. Yes, so, yes, are yes. there some that we should be like, ooh, bad bee? Probably, well, hornets, but we won't go into <laughs> okay. that. They're, they're not good pollinators, so we don't like them. Anyway. Yes, if they can't but, pollinate, they but don't do We will work. teach that at the beginning of the scavenger hunt that okay. when a bee, if a bee lands on you, he just thinks you're a stick. Or okay. A stem. He, he's not concerned with you. Okay. So, the worst thing you can do is go, oh! Right. You know, right. Or swat at them. Yes. So they're like, oh, you want to play? Yeah. They're, <laughs> they're like, oh, what? You know, swat me? I want yeah, you. I got you. Watch <laughs> this. So we'll teach them a little bit about that. Just like, you know, let it off. Like, you know, yeah. Like, yes. okay, go you ahead, know. bee. Go, yeah. go pollinate yeah. somewhere else. Yes, that's Is right. Is there any bee that's like, we must protect this bee with all costs? It's like the queen bee. It's like yeah, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you go in there and you, like, like I was picking green beans one time and yeah. I got in there and I. Uh, I grabbed a bee instead of the bee. Ouch, yeah. Yes, it was an ouch. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then he started chasing me, so I was running. So, <laughs> yeah, we ju you just have to be aware of your surroundings and just be gentle with them. They don't need a heavy hand. You don't need to be worried about them. And, uh, and so, it, yeah, it works out Do fine. they live a long time? Um, <laughs> You know, I don't know their life now. I didn't, you know, you always want to know. Like, you didn't tell me that question. I know. I just <laughs> randomly came, like I thought about it. You know, I called just, you up and said, you know, I hey. live. <laughs> I'm 30 years yeah, old, yeah. lady. I like, should, I should have yeah. just said 40 years. Yeah, right, just say, yeah, I don't mind you, but yeah, they're, they're 40. You guys such a great job with all the topiaries and all that you guys mm -hmm. do to make sure that Greenwood is, continues to be a bee city. Pollinator week, you guys are celebrating that. So Yes, that's going to be the scavenger hunt. It'll be the third week in June is always uh, pollinator week mm -hmm. everywhere nationwide. 
So then we'll go ahead. Oh yeah, and we're gonna make some. This is uh, so cute. Yeah, we're gonna take the, some of the garden and press flowers for the kids. We're gonna teach them how to do that, and they can take a little prize home with them. And so you're so you fun. make learning about bees fun. Like you're yeah. so yeah. passionate and energetic about it. Like yeah. I want to well, learn. Well, I have a committee. You can, uh, we know it's all okay. Anne, Miss yeah. Judge. And it was the city horticulture's <laughs> idea. Okay, okay. okay. But other than that, it's fine. They got their praise. <laughs> all right, well you can. Yes, yes, that was all about that. You <laughs> get it all. But it's it's important, and I'm so glad that you know. What a fun event to do. Come to the scavenger yeah. hunt and you'll learn about City, bees. USA. Congratulations yeah. to all you guys, all the work that you guys do here in Greenwood to keep it green so we can have festival of flowers uh -huh. and not festival of no flowers. Right. Carpenter, <laughs> shiny hiney. <laughs> I'll never forget that.